Welcome back to episode 9 of Arctic Landing. Today we're going to be scouting around the base. We're going to take and it's actually going to be the voyage of the Corvette here. It's ready to go. It's got a fighter in it. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But we have an Ember ship over there I think. And we're not probably, I don't want to go in that direction. There's a lot of dangerous stuff over there. The Corvette isn't, like it's got some subsystems like it's weapons. Uh, it's Gatling guns are operational. Uh, missiles are a bit, yeah. So until we get our missile system worked out, I don't want to go over there. There is a parallax base over there. We're eventually going to destroy that. That is a target of interest that I want to take out. Not right now. I don't think I have the resources and there's something this way. Okay, it's just a ship. Uh, yeah. So they have a big presence in this. Or setting up a big presence and we're going to have to deal with that eventually. So while everything finishes here. Oh, and we got some cool LCD displays. While everything finishes here, we're going to take what we've loaded, we're going to take what we've prepared the Corvette with, and we're going to go scouting. We're going to look for uh, something to salvage. Uh, we need salvage. We're going to look for a hostile faction that we can, something we can deal with, something we can take out, and we're going to salvage that. So I really hope you guys are ready and enjoying this video, and we're going to get to it. Uh, there's a few things I want to mention. We got a open up our gate we got a new building repair tower it's not it's it's completely on the other side of the base so you can't see it um you can see the grinding pit from here so i've did a few things on the base since the last video we can just close that the inside button if you're wondering why there's two it turns it off so it's like a security lock you may be thinking how are you going to get up there it has an elevator So, uh, another thing I want to mention, guys. Like I said, you may, you may see the smoke in the distance over there. Where my, where I'm kind of looking. That smoke right there at my crosshair. There's some more. I don't know if you can see it from down here. I will go ahead and show you what we've been doing with the base. What's been going on. Okay. So, we ha I've come up with some new defense platforms. They have missile turrets and these turrets and they're like they're down in like a little part here so let me see oh wait ladder area is blocked okay there we go you can see how they're like down in there and it is connected to a uh, conveyor thing so you can hook it to a base and it kind of just gives it a little bit of defense and these defend it from uh, the raider pods um, asteroids have been landing so we've got to the point to where that's happening there's the what I was going to show you guys. So, I will show you when we take off. We have come under attack while I was preparing the Corvette. And, yeah. So, while I was preparing the ship for launch and this episode, we come under attack. The base did not suffer too much damage. We fended off everything. We're going to have to grind that stuff down later. That be, will be some salvage, which I'm going to do. And this is the elevator. So, it kind of takes you up to the landing pad. And there is a button there and a button there to take you back down. Now, this is the Mark I of the Corvette. It was built a while back. So it's not got any of the uh, Warfire turrets. It will have. And I'm going to up also upgrade it with some uh, more turrets, possibly weapons, you know, that sort of thing. So it, it's going to be revamped. or re It's going to be refitted. But not... Probably not soon. I don't know. It depends how much salvage we can get quickly. So it has a Gatling gun on each side. The two bottom interior turrets, which are placed right there. One on each side. And a missile turret on the very top. I'm also aware that there's no way to enter the Corvette from the ground without a jetpack. When I... There was an explosion way over there. When I fixed... It was uh, one of those unknown things that dropped. When I fix the Corvette in future, we'll see about adding a way in from the ground without a jetpack but as of right now you have to have a jetpack just to fly up there you can refill your oxygen your hydrogen inside of it your jetpack so it's not an issue so like you can just fly up to it and it's a bit cramped in the corvette but it does have a fighter docked inside and it has its gyros your kitchen's right here right under your react. I know it's kind of weird. It's a bit cramped. And here is your 
captain's quarters. It currently don't have a crew quarters. It's not really meant to be out away from the base for extended, extended periods of time, though it can. That ladder, ta that ladder takes you up to a cryopod. I'll show you guys real quick. Before we launch, I'll show you. I'll give you a, a tour of the Corvette. So, it takes you to a cargo container and a cryopod. Kind of forgot to mention the cargo container. And we got the um, plants here. It's got a uh, air vent. It's currently not turned on. Um, so, yeah. So, it's just got all these um, kind of subsystems in there, too. All these little conveyors. And I know they're kind of ugly. Um, when we will probably fix that in the future. I don't know. Uh, your lockers, a grip for displaying the fighter, although it's currently doing some weird stuff with the fighter. Fighter, I didn't realize was that close to it. We can always make the size of that smaller. You got some lockers. They are, I do got them filled up. You guys can take a quick look at what I got in them. Buttons, open the hangar doors. I hope we got this door closed. We do. And both set of stairs lead to the same place. Like I said, right here's the thing. I got the Corvette turned off. This is why it's done this. But you can refill your hydrogen air cargo container, and this takes you up to your gravity drive and two more cargo containers on the other side. And that door leads to the uh, fighter. If we go straight up, we come to the bridge, which is what we're going to be doing now. And it does have a... Let me show you guys. It does have a uh, bridge seal system. So if we press this, in any type of combat situation, I can press that. And with the LCD pan, or the... can't remember what that block is called. It closes in between the windows and that. Let me check, check real quick and see what that block is called. Transparent LCD. With the transparent LCD, it, uh... And the glass in the front, so you got your glass windows, your transparent LCD, a space behind that, a block space. So if the glass windows break, it's still not going to lose our, our, it's not going to lose pressure. It's not going to lose your air. Your air tightness isn't going to go away. And if it, uh, and if the, LC, the transparent LCD gets destroyed in combat, you can activate your bridge shutter system, your bridge hangar doors, and they'll uh, air lock, whatever you want to call that, and it'll come up and air tight the bridge. With that being that, I think we're going to disconnect this now. I want to have a good view when I disconnect it. I don't know what's going to happen, so we're just going to disconnect that. Turn that on. Turn that on. And turn that on. We should... We should fly. I don't know what's going on. Oh, wait. Yeah. I know what's going on. Let's see here. While we burn... Do we not have our, uh... Let's see. The, the thing should be in here. I'm looking for the connector. I currently don't see the connector. Okay. So, yeah. So... I think the connector is holding us down. We're going to have to place it right here. So let's go all the way down and find our connector. Where is it at? We'll have to cycle through each one of these until we find out which one it is. It's not that one. It's that one. Yeah, it's the connector was holding us down for some reason. I do realize we're burning quite a lot of fuel. What just happened? Something weird happened. I hope the, uh, what's this? Oh, I'm kind of hoping the fighter didn't, something weird didn't happen to it. Let's see. Oh, crap, it is. It is. It is. Uh, oh, crud. So let's get that fixed. We did three. Toggle block on. So it's four.
That was bad. I really should have those labeled. Let me go fix the fighter. We don't... We got issues. Something's happening, guys. Oh, boy. Okay, so there it is. It's ready to lock. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that to recharge. Uh. We kind of got a problem. I turned the fighter off when we pushed forward. Okay. That fixed the issue we was having. I didn't real I didn't realize guys, um you can kinda see all the destroyed raider pods that's been attacking us. I kinda didn't realize where my um hydrogen was at. It's kinda low. I thought this thing was full, so our trip might not be that far. But we can land this thing. We can always land this thing close to where we're wanting whatever we find. So we're going to try to see if we can find the base. I don't know. I don't know which one of these. Let's see. What is this? Is this my, that's my backwards. I can turn my backwards thrusters off. We'll save uh, thrust that way. You guys want to click look at the base? It's kind of back there. You can hear a lot of, like, metal with this thing when you're flying. Let's turn our dampeners off. Oh, crap. No, let's not do that. That caused problems. That caused a lot of problems. Okay, so I figure we would encounter a hostile faction by now, but we haven't. Usually they're all in this area. And so far we have not encountered one. I know the, vis the visual uh, outside the uh, outside from the from the Corvette's uh, bridge. You don't get a good view, but you you can always fly it from out here. It's kind of designed that way because it is a Corvette and its bridge does need to be armored, and it's kind of in a place where it kind of has to be armored. So windows all the way around would probably not be your smartest way to armor a bridge. So, there's nothing but mountains in this direction. I kind of really figured it would be different. I've kind of... We've never ventured out this far in this direction. We did go to space in the last video, but, um... Yeah, we didn't... I don't, we didn't come back down this way. We, we came down from the, uh... Where the enemy presence is. 
They got a, like an outpost over there. That's the way we came when we came back to the planet. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. We have flew a long ways and we have still not encountered an enemy base. I was kind of hoping we would because we're burning a lot of hydrogen. So I think we're going to go right. Yeah, I think we'll go right. It seems to have the best... We'll kind of do a... Like a retro burn over here. Yeah, I, I'm pleasantly surprised we have not found an enemy uh, base yet. Usually they're dotted all around, but this time it doesn't seem to be so. I just don't know if they're... They should be showing up. We got our antenna on. So if we come, if we come within range of one, we'll know it. We're, uh, we're below half of our... We've used up over half of our uh, hydrogen so we got to keep an eye on that too guys so we may not actually find it oh wait what is that me is that, that's not my shadow is it nope oh crap guys hostiles there we go I'm kind of hoping we can avoid that, but it doesn't look to be the case. That is a hostile ship. So there should be a base around here somewhere. Uh oh. It's flying close. It's just outside of weapons range. I'm kind of hoping it don't call for a, a drone or something. Well, we found a lake. We can always refuel with hydrogen right here. It seems the enemy ship has stopped. I don't know if it's going to pursue us or not. Although, I think we might be able to get some good resources out of it. It kind of left out of here. I think we might. Should we stop at the lake? It's probably not the closest lake. What is it? It is 32 kilometers from base. Oh, wait, yep. There's a base. Okay, we're going to take the hydrogen lake, guys. So that's what we're going to do. We'll, be, we'll begin our uh, descent. So I'm wondering, should we use our Corvette to take that thing down? Or not? I don't know if we should because we would put it at risk of getting damaged. So let's see. Let's weigh our options here. 
with this one. Because we got the fighter, but if we lose the fighter, we have to use the Corvette. I can't go to control. Wait, see, wait. Yeah, all blocks. I can go to Gatlin turret. Where's our Gatlin turrets? Right here. And I can hit control. Wait, no, that's going to not. That's going to. Okay, right here. All blocks. We will control. Wait, wait. We can use the. Uh, we can use this. We'll do this one, and we'll control it. And that'll get, that should give us a better sight picture of what's going on down there. It kind of looks tempting, guys. I think we should take it. I think we should take it. I don't currently see the the turrets on it. Wait, yeah, I do. Um, okay, we're going to take it. So... We're going to have to replace that with the Gatlin turret 5 because we're going to be using our Gatlin turrets for this control. See which one that side's on. Facing the mountains. Okay, so it's this side. So we'll kind of bring it around like that. We kind of got to watch it not get too close because I don't know how what its weapon range is. And it's also going to call probably call for reinforcements as soon as we're within range. And we're running on fumes, guys. It has to have very short weapons range. Okay. It, yeah, it's weapon it's weapons range is just terrible. There we go. There we go. And we will control our Gatling turret. Kind of zoom in. See what Okay, so yeah, it has a thing. We're going to take it out first. Try to see if we can't knock its antenna out. So I'm trying to see if we can't knock its antenna out to keep it call from calling for reinforcements.
Okay, should we launch the fighter, guys? This is our question. Should, do we launch the fighter or not? Apparently... Okay, so the Gatlin turret does is hitting it. Soon we're going to, have to set down guys on because we're, we've got we ain't got a lot of fuel left. I'm kind of wondering how it's doing. Okay, it's hitting it a little bit. Okay, they got it. We have we taken it out. We have taken it out. Now we can sit down next to it. So this thing can be remote controlled. You can see the remote control block in front of the uh, aft missile turret or rear missile turret. Um, the rear missile turret will be operational hopefully soon. It also has the rocket pod in the front. Okay, yeah, so we took it out. So this grid is complete. It's like this base, this outpost, security outpost. We're going to salvage. And we also can refuel the Corvette here. So this is, um, all in all, pretty. Oh, shoot, guys. It's shooting back. Okay, we got it. Oh, crud, what did we... Oh, crap, they shot out our... They shot out our jump drive, guys. We have suffered minor damage. For some reason, it won't. 
let me control the turret. Oh, I had it off. There we go. Oh, we blew it up. So we're going to sit down close to it as we can. But we took it out, so I'm going to kind of sit down to it out from about 200 meters out because I don't know if it's something that's going to like happen. How high are we off the ground? 20 some meters. So we'll sit down right here, guys. We took it out. We did suffer a lot of damage, it looks like. Let's see if we can't turn off our thrusters. Okay, turn them off. Okay, so we have 3% fuel left. We landed, and we took some damage. We landed on an ice lake, so... With landing on the ice lake, we did, um... We got this side. We do got plenty of fuel, so it's not a problem. And we have the fighter for defense. In case anything bad happens. If we come under attack, we'll just launch the fighter. And we can assess the damage right now. So, we took a hit there. Not sure what broke. Everything else seems to be fine. We took a hit there, there. Okay, so it was going for the um, reactor, the, um, what do you call it, the uh, refinery. But, and the jump job. But other than that, everything's fine. And the base should be ours to uh, salvage. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll we'll salvage it in the next episode, in the next video. So if you guys like this, um, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, and especially if you want to see the next video, so you get that notification. Cyberhound out. God bless.